that he told me that he's waiting for that Gavin now has changed his mind. He wants to debate on the channel, but he wants things to cool down. What on earth? Man, just give me the one-on-one -on -one with Crips there and tell Gavin to sit on a fight. <laughs> he needs a popsicle. And cool an down. <laughs> a popsicle and an edema. Here you go. Here, Gavin, have a popsicle. Say it. Preach it. Hey, Gavin. Nice to see you. I like what Kevin said. Popsicle and an enema. <laughs> <laughs> there we got Mark Reed. What's going on? Good to see hey. you, Mark. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Hey, How are you guys doing? Hanging in there. Not, uh, can't I complain. Can. Yeah, I, I only met G Man recently. Hey, and that was an experience and a half. That was a bit crazy. Um, interesting guy, though. I mean, I did like talking to him, but yeah. Yeah, apparently he's a short fuse guy that will will say death threats to you if you piss him off. So, <laughs> oh, that's no good. Come on now. Sounds familiar. Come on now. Nothing's worth throwing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and I, I was listening to you guys talk, and and like you had a lot to to say about atheists like me, like like where, where of the uh, or you said we've been influenced by the devil, and we know that that the Bible's true, but don't believe it. And you know, I mean, I I don't want to tell you what to believe, and you're you're free to believe that. But I was wondering why you believe that, like why you think that I believe in something that, and I say I don't. I'm I'm just wondering, like, what's the rationale for that? I'm not saying that you believe in something that you don't because you wouldn't be of the ones that believe, um, like, how do I word this? Because okay. you do not believe in God, right? Ooh. Have you ever came to a Jesus to Christ and thought that you did believe? Um, no, I don't, I don't think I've ever, like, found myself believing in any religion, really. Um, I was raised in a very secular household, so I, I'm not an ex-religion. I was sort of, um, pantheist at one point, like, I sort of thought that the, the universe was God, but, um, that, that didn't last very long, and, um, okay. yeah, so I've never, I've never had any kind of, um, um yeah i've, I've never so, had any any belief in god at all okay so um now um have you studied the word of god the old and the new testament like especially the yeah. salvation of, of, of jesus christ well yeah i have i have read them um i can't say that i've studied them in depth um, I, I wish I could and had the time to study every religious text um, out there, but there's a lot of them. Um, I, I, I do remember it was certainly an easier read than the, the Book of Mormon. That thing was ridiculous. It was just Yeah, I'm terrible. not speaking about the, the Book of uh, uh, Mormon. I'm just speaking of just the regular, whole, the Holy Bible. Just the Holy Bible. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I've, least... I've read it. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean by studied it, though. I mean, I haven't like, gone I to any it, official... Like, have you searched through the uh, scriptures? Have you read about the death and resurrection of uh, Jesus Christ? Yes. Have, have you read where Christ came from the house of Israel? Like, yes. And that's that. Okay, yeah, I've read yes. that, yeah. Well, then, well, then you would uh, go along with those that are along the path and have heard mm -hmm. the word of God, and then the devil came up and he, and he removed it. So that seed of, of, of the word of God what it you, came into your heart yeah and, so what and, what do you mean changed. so I, i'm a little confused because I, I haven't like when you say heard the word of god i'm i'm assuming you're not talking about something audible there you're talking about there you in, go there in, you go it's there the you go. gospel See, yeah we're talking the about gospel. the gospel message it, yeah yeah to I, I, reconcile I, sinners with god that's that's the gospel message yeah so you're i you making my point though mark because there there's yeah. no faith nothing came about from it well I, i'm kind of assuming no that's what you mean but i haven't had anything like that happen to me there's there's there been go. no it's that simple yeah no well, faith and that's what sparrow was uh talking about it's okay that is simple no faith so so okay. what do you define as faith what what would you say faith is like what oh, would Mark, Mark trust just doesn't put read, it him, read him that parable 
Trust what, what, in God. Um, just trust in God. Yeah, what he's revealed, his revelation in Scripture, yeah, trust in that. Yeah, so... Maybe, maybe if you read Mark that parable... Which one? you'll understand it more. Which, yes, Sparrow, do you, want, do, you want, do you want to read it? Honey? We'll see if Mark wants to hear it first, because we don't want to... I'm happy to hear it. No, I'm happy to hear it. That That's fine. Yeah, because we don't want to... Bible, you know, bash. What is it called? No, the, I, uh, I, I, I know that. Yeah, I know Bible that you're song, not like yeah. that. That, that's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, we, we, don't, we definitely do not want to push anything on on you. Okay. Uh, well, I, so I appreciate I, that, but I am asking. You know, I am asking why you think that I because it sort of sounded like you sort of said, "Well, I know already," and so what I'm getting is that you're sort of inferring that reading the Bible gives me this knowledge, and then it's taken away by the devil. And um, I'm not sure I, um, I I'm not sure I believe that. I'm sorry. You know, I, I just don't, yeah, don't see that happening. Fine. Okay. Well, I will, I will read this. Okay. It says, uh, and when the, his disciple asked him what this parable meant, he said, "To you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for others, they are in parables." so that seeing they may not see and hearing they might may not understand now the parable is this the seed is the word of god the ones along the path are those who have heard then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so they may not believe and be saved okay and the yeah, and the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive mm -hmm. it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of testing, fall away. Yeah, so and I, then, I suppose yeah. that's where I have the problem, because I don't believe in, in a devil either. I don't, I don't believe in any of that. So, um, so God was, God would give grace to the humble. That's, that's the problem. I'm sorry? God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. That's your problem. Well, I, I kind of, I, I don't think I'm very proud at all. I think I'm humble enough to know that I'm Mark, you are, fallible. You're, you're quite uh, okay, I, I don't know why you'd say that, but I mean, that's your opinion. You're, you're welcome to it. I, that's fine. Um, I, I don't think I am. I just, I, I'm, I'm humble enough to know that I can be mistaken about stuff. And, um... I, I guess my problem is that that when when you say sort of these things about the heart, um, the heart isn't. I mean, it's it's a pump for blood. It's not like you know, a, a sort of. I don't see anything. Well, no, well, well, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, sir. But when we say heart, what? we're not talking about your organ and your chest that's beating. We're talking about your mind, your thought processes. Your, okay. Uh, okay. Material. Well, maybe I'm taking that a bit literally then. So so my thought processes. Well, they. they sure they're fallible i've been wrong about plenty of things before um so i don't see sort of a a faith as in trust in what you think i think i need stuff to back it up sort of more evidence to back it up because but i've do. thought but wrong God things doesn't before to, to, to just blindly believe and not bring our brains along with us there are sure evidence and reasons to believe the bible there's fulfilled prophecies we have ancient historical writings that, that validate that christ indeed did go to the cross that jesus is not just it's, it's a historical fact jesus existed and that he was crucified and that his disciples thought that they saw him after he was crucified why would someone be willing to go to their death knowing if they they lied that they saw this this jesus again after he was crucified why would peter be willing to be uh, put to death yeah there's point? there's a lot of reasons why people um uh, and I'm not saying they lied. I, they could have been mistaken. They could have been tricked. There's a lot of reasons why people say things that didn't. And don't get me wrong. I'm not a mythicist. I don't. I don't sort of say, "Hey, that Jesus was a myth." I just. I just have no reason to believe that that he was some right. sort of god. No, I hear you, Mark. Um, but well, well, a we lot of people this, say a lot of group. different stuff for a myriad of reasons. Like. Um, um, it, it, it could be that they felt their movement was so important. They could have thought he was a god and, and not. 
Um, but the problem is that the, the Bible, but Mark, would they be like for instance, for they, they claim they saw him after he was crucified. Well, whether or not somebody's willing to die for something doesn't really give us whether it's true or not. For instance, the people that did the 9-11 bombings that ran themselves into buildings, they were prepared to die for what they believed. That doesn't make what they believe true. Was um, it because of the evidence, Mark, that they did that of Islam? Evidence? Or is it because they wanted an afterlife sort of... Um, Oh, I believe that's like a thought... pleasure, like getting 70 virgins or something. Yeah, yeah. I think that was, yeah. Sure. Uh, um, you know, and, and um, can these... I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Mark, you, you're you asking for evidence to sure. believe in God. Am I correct? Uh, that is correct, yes. Well, um, okay. I think I think in some ways, like I'm not asking for, I just want to clarify, I'm not asking for scientific evidence. I think that... Um, in some way, though, the methodology behind that evidence should be uh, um, reliable. It has to be a way that we can demonstrate that it actually has explanatory power. Okay. Um, so you want the God world, in order to accept the God world, you mm. want uh, it to be demonstrated. Is that correct? Um, well, I think I would need some sort of justification for it outside of just uh, the mind. Yeah, I think that um, there's plenty okay, of so things you wanted, we you could envision in our mind okay. that, that we don't believe because, you know, okay. just concepts. so you want the God world to be demonstrated to you. Is that correct? Well, I mean, I don't need it to be demonstrated. I'm doing just fine. But, um, you know, I was interested in the conversation about Mark, atheists. I'm and asking a believe. very non-controversial question. Yeah. Okay you don't believe in the god world okay? well and in order, order for, for me to believe, believe may I finish, yes. please yeah sure uh, i mean I, I i think you're turning a very simple question into a pretzel here well i'm just trying uh, to clarify you that you okay mark no i i i there my question requires no clarification oh okay you well. do not believe in the god world correct uh that is correct yes okay do you need what do you need in order to believe in the god world is it evidence demonstrability is that it yeah i believe strong evidence i.e that's which rigorous um um reliable okay. um evidence that okay. have robust okay. foundation in um you know repeatability and able to be demonstrated okay. basically yeah okay do you believe in the not god world mark do i believe in the not god world i'm not sure what you mean by that I'm, I'm not a i'm and not there, a there's only there's only two there's only two possible worlds there's the god right. world and the not god world okay well ontologically you will, that's you will, true you will be, that's right so you're going to be operating from and believing one or the other so you don't believe in the god world so right are you are operating from the not god world well, it, it sounds that, right? like that you're trying to sort of say, am I a naturalist, basically? Is naturalism my thing? No, and, I and didn't I, ask you that question. I didn't ask you that that's question. That's what it sounds like. I'm asking like. you, are you operating, do you believe that the not God world is true? Uh, yes, I believe that. Provisionally, I believe okay. that. Okay. What is, what, is the, what is the reliable, testable, demonstrable evidence for that? um that um we have interacted with all kinds of minds and those minds require a brain now provisionally i will say that if you can show me a mind without a brain as we have experienced in the billions of brains that we've seen um, or minds that we've seen rather um i i will you know uh, i will at least go to agnosticism to say i don't know but um I provisionally I believe here. that you Your need is a brain to, to have a okay. mind. Yeah, right. you're, well, now you're talking right. about brains and minds. I'm sure. simply asking you what demonstrates that the not god world is true. I just told you. Right. I well right. I heard you talking about about brains. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cuz someone asked for me. Yeah, yeah, you didn't right. you didn't I give me a clear should, answer here. I think well, we should go to timed responses. Maybe. I mean, I'm happy to talk. I, you know, I'm more. I think Mark's all right. That's that's a good idea. If it kind of gets, I I think Mark can handle it though. He's one of the atheists. I'm I'm going to give him credit on that. I think he'll hang in there. But Mark, if you get like irked or something, we'll put in the time responses. But go ahead and yeah, continue. Sure. No worries. Um, yeah. I, I think I it's... want you to explain to me succinctly 
why yeah. the not god world is true yeah so every description of god and i i must admit i i probably shouldn't presume that you are um a person that subscribes to this but every description i've got is a mind uh without a brain a a um you know sort of all all powerful all knowing um or at least maximally so people usually say um and, and you know to clarify if this uh this description of god isn't what you believe but um the description is almost always a mind without a brain and the evidence that i have seen is overwhelming that a mind requires a brain and then we have that through billions that, and billions an, and billions sequitur. of things um, now yeah, I don't, I'm not committing the black swan fallacy because I'm not saying it isn't possible that there's a mind without a brain just I provisionally believe that's the case because of the evidence suggests a mind has to have a brain and that's why I believe it now I just want to clarify quickly I don't claim to know it outright I don't claim absolute knowledge of this it is a provisional belief that I have based upon the evidence that I've seen so God doesn't exist because God necessarily does not exist because you have a provisional belief. I didn't say necessarily. I said provisional. I mean, the two things. Well, are I'm basically, asking. You, I'm asking. Your position is. Well, the two things are incompatible. I mean, if I say provisionally, your position is it's God not necessarily. necessarily does not exist. No, no. If I say provisionally, I'm not saying that God necessarily doesn't exist. I'm saying I believe that God doesn't exist based upon the evidence that I've seen. Does it follow necessarily that God does not exist because I just said you no. don't believe in him? I just, just said no, but you asked me for my belief. Okay, well, then, that, then then you don't have a demonstrable case that God does not exist. No, no, I've just gave, given you the case. No, you're not. You didn't understand the analysis. Okay. No, no, I think you're Is looking it your for... Position, I think Listen. you're looking for an ontological truth here and while we're talking about I'm asking belief, you to explain to me what the demonstrable repeatable testable evidence yeah. is that God indeed does not exist and you are telling me God does not and cannot exist because you don't have a belief in him because he would be an unembodied mind that's a non sequitur I never said that and I never claimed to have ontological knowledge over oh. over whether God exists or okay. not. So you're just sort of smuggling in an ontological truth into I'm not what you're asking me, which All is I epistemology. Ask you to do is God exist. No, no, no. You've I'm you've asked me for my epistemology and then now you're asking me for an ontological truth. Yeah, I'm asking you to explain to me why the not God world is true. Is the not God world true because you um your provisional belief is inconsistent with god being true no. is that why god doesn't exist no it, that doesn't make the ontological truth anything but the ontological truth the, the truth will be what the truth it? regardless of whether i believe it to be yeah, true just, or listen, whether i, I believe be it to be something you're else totally dancing around you have point. asked me why i'm an atheist and i say i have evidence of a lot of brains uh, that have minds to me? and no minds that don't have brains and that is what Are i base my belief on well, I mean, I am talking. Are you even listening? I, I'm, I'm sort of talking at the moment. I know that, but you're you're rambling. I'm, I'm addressing the you're question. You're rambling I... like 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 I'm a ninth grade student here. I'm a grown man. I'm 61 years old. I've talked with hundreds, if not thousands, of atheists from all different backgrounds, including uh, a good number of atheists with PhDs. I've well, debated hundreds, if not thousands, of atheists, and you're just giving me a verbal runaround. I'm asking weird you. Weird that you're confusing ontology with epistemology. Then the I mean, you're confusing the, the two. I'm not finished, Mark. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm very yeah. much accustomed to people monologuing and running the clock out. I'm asking you a very succinct question, okay? Yeah. God does not exist because you don't have a mental state? No, no, I, I never said God does not exist. I believe God does not exist because of the factors that I have with told no difference. you. Well, what do you That's want? Do you want the difference. ontological truth or an epistemology? I want you my to explain to me in clear terms. I want you to explain to me in clear terms where you're mm. not rambling and monologuing, okay? Yeah. Where it would be clear to a ninth grader. Right. God does not exist because. Now, does God not exist because there is something else that is ultimate and absolute and that it's not God? 
So you're conflating ontology with epistemology. I don't believe no, I God exists. That. Please focus on what I'm I, asking. I never said I made a knowledge claim about God. Did I, did I ever say I made a knowledge claim? Okay. Okay. Knowledge is a subset of beliefs. So whether you want to classify it, whether you want to classify it as knowledge or belief is, is irrelevant to my question to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you believe God does not exist. So do you believe that indeed God does not exist? because you have a belief, a provisional belief, that is inconsistent with the existence of God? Do I believe, and just let me, let me get, I wanna get this straight, I don't wanna misquote you, but I, do I believe that God indeed, and I'm not sure what you're, you're mean by indeed, so we'll get back to that, indeed does not Really, exist. are we gonna do this, Mark? I'm just going through trying to analyze the question. You're gonna parse phrased. word indeed? Well, I, I've gotta pass it, I mean, you might mean many things by that and, and i really need to know what you mean because really, you basically Mark? said you believe god in does indeed does not exist because you have a belief that god does not exist is that what you said you know mark you're giving me the verbal runaround and you're verbally running the clock out okay as i told what you clock? without trying to brag wait are we on a clock give you a hard time but i'm a straightforward individual like i'm a straight shooter okay um, i don't mince words i'm not but getting right that now, from you but you're sure okay, mark i'd like to finish okay i have as i told you i I've, I've talked to and debated with thousands of atheists okay mm -hmm. many highly intelligent highly educated atheists as well Okay. You sound like a certainly highly intelligent individual, oh, thank but you. to me, you're giving me the verbal runaround. All I need to know is, is God does not exist either because there's something else that is ultimate that's not God, or there's another proposition that derives from what is ultimate that is not God. Which is it? So does God not exist because something else is ultimate? And what was the other the last part of it? That that some that there's a, a proposition that derives from something that is ultimate that's not God. That derives from not God. Of the proposition that you, you, there's a, pro a proposition that you hold to that you consider demonstrable. So what, what do you mean by that ultimate? mitigates against God? What, what do you ultimate mean by is ultimate? Is that which would be what is whatever is absolute unconditionally non-dependent and derivative and being the absolute everything that exists that is not itself derives and depends upon it um so i i think that that um sort of you're asking what something is the ultimate ultimate so 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 it everything relies on that thing in order to in order to falsify god yeah you have to do one of two things you're either going to have to present what is ultimate which would be a negator for god because god is in the category of ultimate or you're going to have to give me some demonstrable proposition that derives from what is ultimate that is not god you have to do one of those two things if you don't fulfill either two of those criterion, then you haven't falsified God. Right. Well, right. I, so I sort of understand. Yeah, I sort of split it into I have a apparent reality that I interact with and an absolute reality, which is basically um, the ontological um, existence of things, the ontological truth of things. Um, I'm not sure which, which, where which that question came from. are you answering, the first or the second one? Well, I mean, you're asking what's ultimate, so I'm, I'm trying to get at that. No, I'm asking you, which one are you answering? The first one or the second one? What do you mean? Aren't they the same thing? The okay. proposition you know, that derives from... In order to falsify God yeah. as ultimate, you're going to have to tell me what is ultimate that is not God, or you're going to have to tell me that there's a proposition that is demonstrable that derives from what is is ultimate that's not god you have to do one or the other otherwise you can't falsify or negate god so okay which do you choose yeah so i can i can demonstrate the proposition that derives from absolute reality um and that is by basically acknowledging that because i directly experience sensations 
therefore something must exist, therefore an absolute reality must exist. No, I, you're not understanding the question, okay? Well, it's, um, it's kind of reality, hard to Reality is, um, is an abstraction that quantifies the set of all real things. I'm sorry, are you I'm asking, asking you... Okay, that, that sounded like you said reality isn't real. No, I said reality is an abstraction that well, ab abstractions the set of... May aren't I real. Please? Abstractions reality aren't real. Reality is a term. I'm trying to explain it to you. When we invoke the word reality, sure. okay, typically what is referred to in English is that we're referring to the set of all real things. Okay? Now, all I'm ask, asking you is, in order to falsify God, your position is not God. In order to negate or falsify God, since God is in the category of what is ultimate, and I've already defined ultimate, you're either going to have to tell me what is ultimate, or you will use a proposition, a demonstrable proposition, okay. as a defeater for God. But that that but that proposition must derive and depend upon what is ultimate. Otherwise, you don't have a defeater. Now you have to pick one of those two. Otherwise, you can't falsify God. So which do you choose? Now this is the right. third time. So I've asked so the absolute reality cannot be an abstraction because the one property I didn't has talk is, about is is that it is real. So I, I refute that completely. Um, I think that even though my apparent reality may be separated in different things i think a, a, a ultimate or absolute reality is just one thing and the, i'm not talking um, about reality mark and the the differences are actually uh, kind of an illusion when you get down to it can you um, even hear me well yeah yeah i'm explaining to you why i did i didn't ask you is... to give me an exposition on reality i well, asked you i'm to sharing it with you anyway ultimate or what proposition that you use to negate God? What well, ultimate I just does told you. it depend upon? I want to know what is ultimate. I just told you. What is that? The, an absolute reality, which is one no, thing, I, even that's, though... that's incoherent. Do you know, want, want to know why? No, uh, okay. well, because I mean... when you say reality, is reality the set of all real things? No, because a set is an abstraction, and the one property of reality no, is okay. that it's so real. reality. Reality is not the set of all real things. So there's something. Well, that let me ask a question. Outside of reality, is reality real? Okay, Mark, I'm asking you how you're defining reality. Is do you define reality as the set of all real things? No. Okay, what is reality? Well, then? so I think my apparent reality is the set of all things. But an absolute reality is the actual ontology behind it, as I told you okay, earlier. Right. So I'm, I'm right. asking you, do you think reality is real? It's, it's a really simple question. Okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like if I say, do you think bananas are real? Yeah, I think banana, banana, yeah. Uh, bananas are no, real. So reality to me is the set of all real things. Everything that's in that set is real. Now, what I want to know to you, from you is this. When we conceptualize reality, and mm -hmm. by the way, your 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 non-acceptance of the definition is is, is extremely uh, bizarre. Okay, because okay. when people invoke reality in the English language, they're generally referring to the set of all real things or a particular subset of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to know from you is, what is it that is ultimate from which all things depend and derive? If you answer reality, that's an incoherent answer, which I will be glad be glad to explain to you uh, so is that your answer well i mean i don't know where absolute reality came from but um because i don't have access to it i can demonstrate hey, Mark, through my argument that i know it exists but i don't actually have access all i've got access to is my apparent reality as do you as Mark, does everybody can you tell me what is ultimate what is ultimate so by ultimate you meant um sorry that i must which is absolute unconditionally non-dependent and derivative from which all things derive and depend is no i don't i don't ultimate? think i can tell you that i don't think i can i know what what something okay, is that so, what okay, all okay. facts do you depend. believe what some that something is ultimate uh i don't know okay so you have nothing that is identifiably ultimate then is that correct I have nothing that's, well, I mean, I, I do have absolute reality, so, I mean, there's that. 
No, that 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 does that's not that is not um, why not a, 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 that is not an answer that is germane to the question. Okay, why all not? I want to know is, do you have an identifiable, defensible stipulation of what is ultimate? Yeah, a, absolute reality. I, I see it more no, as no, a, that's incoherent. Um, okay, let me explain to you as why. a let summation you of the incoherent. universe, the cosmos, Mark, and all Mark, can you beings listen for a combined. Second? Well, I, I mean, I've been Mark, listening. Can you listen for a second. I'm trying to explain to you by saying absolute reality is ultimate is not coherent. Let me tell you why. Okay. I want you to imagine when we use the word reality, we're referring to the set of all real things. Okay. Can you accept that working definition? I would accept that for my apparent reality. I wouldn't for okay. um, Can you absolute accept that working reality. definition, Mark? I, I would for my apparent reality. I wouldn't for, I okay, wouldn't so use that Okay. So you're accepting that working definition that reality, reality is the set okay, of well, all Okay. Well, let's just, things. for the sake of the now, argument, just say that's ultimate, the case. Mark. Are you even let, listening let or are you just trying to give me a monologue? Okay, no, I'm asking very truncated questions and I don't need a monologue back. Okay? Well, I'm just saying I'm for the sake rude, of the I'm argument. A, I'm a well accustomed to people filibustering me. Well, I'm now, just saying for the sake you, of the argument, I'm let's a assume. Shooter, okay? Uh, uh, now, okay. <laughs> when you say, I'm asking you, what is, what is it that is ultimate? I've already defined ultimate for you. Okay. Now, right. are you saying, and I don't need a lecture, are you saying that reality is what is ultimate? Uh, I, 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 if your definition, and I, as I said, for the sake of the argument, we'll assume that you're using your definition, then no, I wouldn't say that the set of all real things is, is absolute or ultimate, no. Okay, what is ultimate, Mark? Um, it is, uh, let's see if I can describe an absolute reality in a way that is... Um, no, I want you to tell me what ultimate is. Well, it, it sounds what is it that like... all things that is a concrete one that all things derive it depends Yeah, on? so it sounds like to me that you're asking for what is ultimate in a way that I can't answer in any way except to say God. Is that what you're doing no what i want to know from you is i want you to tell me from your perspective yes what you believe to be what is well, singularly concrete yes. and not an abstract notion that all things derive and depend right. upon well i've been trying but you keep interrupting me so maybe just let me spiel I it out interrupted you and then <laughs> okay well i mean you're asking the questions and when i try to explain it you're sort of cutting me off it's very difficult to get something out when you won't let me talk um so as i said there is an apparent reality we're all aware of that we all agree on it we all dwell in it uh, you know sort of uh, uh, there is something behind that which i know that from my senses are imperfect there is an ontological truth behind that um that uh i can Put a argument for as i said um, i experience sensations directly that means that there must be something exists something real there um, or else um, and I, i'm not in any way due to hard solipsism saying why what it is i am just saying there is something behind it um, i think that is or i believe that is um, the sum total of the universe, the cosmos, everything that exists as one thing that just seems to be in individual parts. Like I think I'm here, I think you're there, that's my apparent reality. Um, the set of all real things, as you said. I do not think that's the case. I think it is all one thing. Okay. Have you told me what is the ultimate, Mark? Yeah, I just did. No, you didn't. I listened very carefully. I kept my mouth shut the whole time. Sure. All I got you there was monologuing. You did not tell me what was singularly concrete as opposed to an abstract notion that all things derive and depend upon. What is that singular concrete thing that is not an abstraction? Yeah, so I already said, yeah, upon? so I already said absolute reality and you wouldn't take that for an answer. And that's okay, the label so reality, that I've given to So it. reality, so, but, so what is ultimate is the set of all real things. Yeah, get rid of Josh. What I don't hey, get, and and do, we get do, rid of Josh here, please. Do excuse me. Yeah. I I I, I um, what okay. I don't get is is why do I have to come up with something ultimate and all of these designators to simply believe based upon the evidence that a god does not exist? Why is that because the if case? You don't, because it because if you don't, it will not be rationally. Uh, demonstrable now that sounds like a non sequitur to so me you said reality is reality the set of all things what is ultimate um apparent reality is the set of all things 
Am I correct in understanding that your position is that the set of all real things that you label reality mm -hmm. is what is ultimate? No. Okay, Mark, what is it that is ultimate? That I've already told singularly you. Singularly concrete. Okay, I'm asking you. the question again because all I heard yeah. was a monologue. Look, you, you've had your no answer. I want to know. Listen, I'll shut you, up in a second. You've had your answer. I'm, you. I'm not going through I want it again. I to know from you yep. what is singularly concrete yep. and not an abstraction that all things derive and depend upon. What is that singular concrete thing? Absolute reality. Okay. It, is reality the set of all real things? No. Not absolute reality. Okay. Um, our apparent what, what reality is... Can you, can you is, tell me... Okay, so absolute reality is a singular concrete thing? Yes. Okay, what is that? I, I've explained it like three times now. Uh, if you're not paying no, attention, I'm not going to explain salad, it again. Sir. <laughs> I, I've been in thousands of debates and I've heard people explain things. Yeah, and um, I've heard I'm, complaints I'm out of those thousands of people about you not IQ. listening. I, I, I I'm sure I you do a have a decent IQ. I'm 100% sure you do have a decent IQ, but it sounds like to me when I explain that the sum total of the cosmos, everything outside of it and everything that existed, will exist and ever existed, you basically say, no, I'm not accepting that. And it seems like the only that's answer you said. will accept no, that's is false, God. You just said. Yeah, you keep you going are, back. You are, you are putting words you into keep my mouth. Okay? going back to you basically see, saying... No, 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 you, you keep reason. going you back, reason. you keep okay. going back we're, to we're saying the set of all real See, things, and I've already said, monologues. I've already said that's yeah, not the you case. Don't, you don't give them a chance okay. to answer When you though. say, uh, oh, I've been sitting here silent quite a long time, listening yeah. to him no. go on and on and on and on, on Erica. Okay, what you don't like is the fact that I'm being confrontational, that I'm getting a whole long monologue without getting a clear answer. Now, is absolute reality does anything else exist independent or or outside of absolute reality, Mark? No. Okay, so absolute reality then would be the set of all real things. No, that's our apparent reality. Okay, okay, well that's in, what your position is now incoherent, okay? Because you see, you, you wanna talk about absolute reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get rid of Jack. Who keeps on bringing these, pe him, these people in here, uh, praise? I don't know, but who is this really Jack Gangstrike, though? Or is this yeah, a troll? Don't even, don't even entertain this. Just get Why? rid of What's wrong with, yeah. Why? What's wrong with Jack Gangstrike? Why? 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 Who's Why? Why? Because Why? Those, are, those individuals are stalkers, Eric. Well, I'd like to talk to these people coming okay. in. I, Mark, I find... Mark. What? So I mean, absolute reality. Is absolute reality yeah. all-encompassing or not? Well, I would like to talk to the people coming in. I don't I don't know why we have to kick Mark, people I'm out. I'm giving you very circumspect, truncated questions, and I'm getting a monologue, and you're not giving Ooh. me clear-cut, specific answers. Okay? Now, when you say absolute reality, yes. is absolute reality everything that is, or is there something that lies in existence with independence from absolute reality? It is the one thing that is real, that is the entirety of anything that is. Okay, is that is when you say it is the one thing, is that a mm -hmm. concrete one or an abstract one? Concrete. Which conceptualizes a set of... Because the, the, okay. pro the problem well, then, is, then the problem here's, is, here's the, the problem, problem is, here's no, 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 just let me speak for a second. The problem sure. is that if it's a set, it's an abstraction. You keep saying, is it concrete or abstract? And it's like, well, if it's reality and it's an abstraction, then it's not real. And then you've sort of put yourself in a position no, where I'm you're saying that that reality okay, is not the term real. An abstraction, an abstraction uh, a, a single term that is an abstraction can quantify two or more concrete things. It's right. not that the two or more things are abstractions themselves. Now, when you talk about reality, as being one you are either invoking that as a concrete one or an abstract one where the abstract one collectivizes two or more concrete things so which is it well the, the problem here is that i can say that my body is one thing the problem is it's made up of cells that are also one thing can you please answer and the question and there's other please, things that are just yeah lecture. i'm addressing i'm addressing what you're saying um and, and, and sort of so when, when you're saying that there's nothing that prevents uh, a reality and an absolute reality of being one thing 
whereas we are parts of that thing just Mark, as the Mark, cells are part of the body. you're not directly answering my question. I am. It's like, you're, it's like you're giving me a community college lecture. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm a well, I'm shooter, just explaining how know, you're wrong. I know when somebody is filibustering me, okay? Well, no, now, I'm just explaining how you're now. wrong. What I want to know from you is simply this, okay? Right. When you, when you tell me what is ultimate, is it one concrete thing? Yes. Or is it one thing where it is an abstraction that collectivizes two or more concrete things? It's either okay. one or the other. So, so this, this will be the last time I'll explain this because I've already been through it multiple times and I'm kind of getting sick No, you've been giving me myself. mumbo jumbo, Mark. No, I haven't. Uh, you haven't been listening. Yeah, you, yeah, you so have. my so perception, my aware. perception of of uh, reality is is a apparent because my senses can be wrong. But Mark, I, I believe that there is one thing which is an absolute reality that we are all a part of and connected. That we we're not individuals. Wow. That in essence we are all just one and part of the massive okay. everything absolute reality that exists Mark, our apparent the our apparent reality that says that, that we are you, we are separate people but you when see, not you're in, you're in this tunnel mission mode okay like like, right. like you're autistic okay what was the well, question that i, I am asked autistic you? is that a problem no yeah it is a problem because was you're that? not focusing on my question what was the question that i asked you mark you said is the um, absolute reality a concrete or is no, it I didn't use that term no I did not that's your term I didn't use that term at all okay what term did you, you use? even remember the questions I asked you uh well I mean I I, I get the gist of them yeah do you, I mean uh, the so thing can is you repeat it's... back to me what my question was to you yeah so I thought you said is absolute reality one concrete thing or is it an abstraction that is a um, set of things that are real and that's paraphrasing of course particular it's either one or right. the other it can't, there's not a third yeah and i've answered so it like it? five times which is it mark yeah i've, I've answered it five times asked and answered no it's it. not clear it's not clear you gave me you were very i don't verbose. think i can be more okay, clear but that was not your your it's your one verbo, absolute answer reality answer is now, one mark, concrete what I want thing to know is, do you know you do you do you, do you know how to interact with people yeah. instead of lecturing like you're my fifth grade teacher well if you I, don't I want the answers don't ask the questions i mean you're asking for que questions and i'm answering you i don't know what the problem mark, is. mark mark you're filibustering me listen what do you mean i gave you an either or question that leaves no room for sure. a third possibility and i answered okay? it okay now is the question clear to you yes okay so which is it is reality a concrete one or is reality one in that it abstracts the collectivizing of two or more concrete particular uh absolute reality is a concrete one okay here's the problem that you have now okay then you're going to have to tell me what that is what is it absolute reality mm -hmm. is absolute reality everything yes okay so then everything the, real the sum everything total real. of everything the sum total of everything that is concretely real is just one concrete thing so that there are no discrete two or more concrete particulars now you got it you, you caught on there you go okay so here's the problem then okay mm -hmm. so you are a monist so what you're telling me is everything is what is ultimate and that ultimate is a concrete one as opposed to an abstract one of two or more discrete concrete particulars Correct. now can you please explain to me and tell me how you can uh, predicate how you can uh, invoke distinctions that are not real because in order to mm -hmm. make actual distinctions as sure. opposed to that distinctions are abstract okay mm -hmm. then there have to be two or more uh, concrete dis uh, discrete things but in your view there's only one concrete thing there are not two or more concrete discrete particulars okay so let's make let me make this clear to you not an absolute reality question, correct okay are do you reject and i don't need a lecture 
All I need to know is, do you reject that there are two or more discrete, concrete particulars? Do I reject that there are two or more concrete particulars? Discrete, concrete particulars. Discrete, concrete... Let me get this down. Discrete, concrete particulars. In absolute reality, yes. Okay, well, you've now contradicted yourself, okay? Because mm -hmm. a minute ago, you told me that reality, the sum total of all real things was a concrete one. Now mm -hmm. you're telling me that within reality, there are two or more discrete concrete particulars. That's no, no, a contradiction. No. You, you just said, do you reject? Okay, Mark, you, no, no, you no, 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 no. What you, you said, do you reject that there are two or more discrete concrete particulars? And I said, yes, right. as in I reject that. Oh, in absolute reality okay. yes now, so, so now, that's your do you wording understand now do you understand now that mm -hmm. you no longer have the ability since you believe that there is only one concrete thing that when you when you start talking and you are invoking actual distinctions okay mm -hmm. that distinctions being discrete things don't exist because for you there's only one concrete thing and no two or more concrete particulars to sure they understand exist. the problem sure they exist so when when you say exist they are um abstractions of the set of all real no, things no, Mark, that exist we're not talking in about the um we're in about the um things. apparent reality that i um operate in because i don't operate in um, mark we're not talking um, about i don't operate in what we're talking about are concrete things no no it's no i'm only, I'm only in apparent exists. reality hey mark do you, do you see how focused i am okay now, is, is, is it your position that only one concrete thing exists and that there are not two or more discrete concrete particulars? So is that your position? What I don't get, what I don't get is what this has to do with me believing in a God. It, it seems like because such it, a non sequitur. It, it seems like a runaround. to instantiate what is it that is indeed ultimate as a defeat. Yeah, I, I've told you. Now, you seem to be, you seem to be and I, 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 this is not disrespectful, you seem to be utterly confused about the difference between the set of all real things, reality being a concrete one, versus reality is consists of two or more concrete particulars. Now, since you told me that you believe in that reality which is the set of all real things mm -hmm. simply subsists as one and one alone concrete particular sure then i got a foundation no, there are no is it your view there are no two or more discrete concrete particulars there is in is my apparent view? reality we we carve it up to make it seem so so the problem here is that you're sort of you're blending in um epistemology Can you give me a straight with ontology I, I have you hear, been. Do you hear me i you have hear, been. you hear that i'm agitated mark uh, yeah, I, I don't know why, because you seem to have this, you're you seem to Mark. have this thing of the only answer that you will accept is a God. Oh, Mark, you're filibustering. Um, that, the problem with that is I do have these beliefs on what life is. Mark, can you tell you me, get away with this can, with other can people, you tell me, me, look, you've been asking me tons of questions. Can you tell me why, how you know that God is your ultimate foundation? Okay. I'll be glad to, I'll be glad to get that. I'll be glad to get that. No, I don't think but you will be. I'll be glad to do it. Uh, you've you asked me like 50 here. questions hey, Mark, and now like Mark, I can't I ask be, one I back happy to acquiesce to your request i don't think you, you would be filibustering me okay mark, mark nobody's listen, filibustering you, you. nobody's nobody's mark, doing I anything thousands of people yeah and, I, I, okay, and they all say all this about you. you see you see you don't even want to have an interaction you want to just sit there and go blah 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 oh really okay. me now, <laughs> that's ironic yeah mark, ironic mark yeah I keep on asking you yeah simple truncated questions uh -huh. and you launch off into this monologue okay now i'm not asking you for a monologue i'm not asking you mm -hmm. for to give me a soliloquy about your worldview i'm asking you very simple trust uh, truncated questions now yeah. do you reject the notion that there are two or more discrete separate concrete things do you reject that um 
Provisionally, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Now, the problem with that is you then forfeit your ability to invoke distinctions. Well, I can't okay? and claim the reason to know why, that for may sure. I finish, please. Well, not really. This may is this is sort please. of leading me down a may certain finish, script that I really wow. think you know, is. I brought up the, I brought up the term autism before. Okay, you seem to have a lack of give and play in the conversation. I have been working me. hard trying to give, <laughs> give and play to you, so, but it seems to me that you just want to monologue and lecture me. Okay? Why are you I'm gaslighting a me? Old man. I wasn't born yesterday. Why now, are you I gaslighting you me? Is, I'm trying yeah, to have a civil you, conversation and you're gaslighting me talking, into blaming me. The whole time, is this how it's going to be, Mark? Is this how it's going to well, be? Well, I think You're it's how it has to be because to? you will not engage with a discussion where both people ask each other questions and discuss their worldviews. Yeah, so, so you don't, you so, yeah, are Mark, doing Mark, an interrogation Mark, this, where you have answers that you want and you are asking the questions in Mark, order Mark, to get specific Mark, answers to out of them the mass, so Mark. that I, I think you are actually. You, wow, you, you're you are, basically you, know you are so obtuse you are so self unaware it, 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 it is staggering to me okay <laughs> i'm asking you very simple tr truncated questions and you're giving me this meandering monologue yeah. i don't want a meandering monologue what i want to know well, from you is this tough if you believe that there's only one concrete thing you forfeit the ability to uh speak of real distinctions no if i there's don't. only one concrete things let me explain to you no why, i don't okay no, okay, let me okay, explain so you, you why. So, okay, it's because so then, it's because okay, so I can one. use tell the set then. of real what things. Is this concrete yep. one? So if I could just explain, what is this if I could one, just Mark? explain, I can use apparent reality to make the set of things parts of that one, and the individual Mark, parts just as a human all. body. The can I finish, one. please? Can I finish, or are you just going to talk over you're, the top of me? Not, don't you hear the frustration in my voice, Mark? Well, you're not allowing me to explain. You're, no, you're being uncooperative, Mark. What, with your script? No, no, with, with my with your script. Question. Now, like, what is this one Darth, alt What is this Darth, one that you call alt uh, Obviously, obviously I know who you are, and I don't know why you do this. You what leave is this one on this ultimate, script. Mark? Tell okay. me what that is. So... I can make distinctions between the par parts of the ultimate one by using our apparent reality to separate okay. things into parts. Just like my body okay. has Mark, one what thing is, then and what is the yeah. unifier, Mark? What is the ultimate unifier? What, what is, is the ultimate unifier of what? Right. Yeah. If if you say if you say that the ultimate is the one and the many. Okay. Either you're going to say the ultimate is a concrete one. Well, you'll say it's a concrete many. Nobody or you will solved say that it is the one and the and many the many. problem. Okay? Nobody solved that problem. You haven't solved that problem. Okay. No, Mark. Mark. What? Listen carefully. You haven't solved that problem. Is the ultimate? Wow. So yeah. what is the answer to the, the one and the you know many your problem? problem is, the problem What's that? is, listen to me. Your problem, What's my problem is not that you lack intelligence. Your problem is not that you don't have the gift of the gab. You're you're well spoken. Okay. Your oh, problem you. is, is you're not focusing at the question at hand and you're using the, the question that I uh, give to you I as think... an opportunity to meander into a monologue. Now, okay. what I want to so just to give this, you some okay? feedback, just is, to give Darth, wait a second. No, no, no. Wait ultimate... a second. Wait a second. I want to give you feedback as well because you gave feedback for me. I think you're very highly intelligent and you are well spoken, but I must say you're incredibly aggressive and I do feel like you're not interested in my actual answers. You're interested in the answers that you, you want. No, that, that, that is a false characterization, but I will be aggressive when somebody is giving me a Miranda, a meandering monologue, which is what I believe that you're that you're doing. It's like it's like it's like I'm your college student in a community college lecture and you're going on and on and on and on and on. So now the No, the, the problem is, is the, the, the questions me, were Mark, complex. The questions question. were complex. I'm a dog with a bone, Mark. I'm gonna tell you I I'm don't a dog care. With a bone. I don't care. I don't but care I don't what your care bone is. if you don't care. Well All then what's the problem? When you say that there's an ultimate, is is the ultimate a concrete one is it a concrete many or is the ultimate a, a, a concrete one and many i've already answered that Which but i would like to ask you what is the answer for the one and the many problem 
how do you have one thing made up of other things that are one? I, how, how do you I solve that, that from problem? the Christian worldview, where the triune God, his oneness and his manyness, uh, possess equal ultimacy. Now, okay. I answered that so question. Now, what how I want to know from something you is, be Mark, one and many yes, at the okay, same I guess time. You don't learn anything. I am a dog with a bone. Okay? No, that doesn't I'm solve the one and many problem. Bone, Mark. Now, Mark is. Ultimate, you're, you're claiming at the, the moment, of, you're claiming at the moment or, for is, something to be is, one and three at the same time with your Mark, reference to the triune. Mark, listen to How me. can I something be one and three at the same time? Mark, do you understand? I'm you brought up the saying? one and the many problem, and I don't have an answer for that, but neither do okay. you. Okay, so, so, okay, so in other words, you don't know whether the ultimate is characterized as a concrete one or a concrete many or it's I've, a I've already answered of the two. this I've already answered this as clearly I, no, as I, I want to know which it, is it I've already answered one it. of the three or I don't know yeah no I, I've already answered it I'm not going over this again you're just going to no, have no, to be satisfied with your answer this is pure evasion so part. the problem is that you have a god that you're claiming is one and is three okay, now sir, to my well, mind that is We're completely I've already answered it I'm not answering it anymore I've already answered it I'm not answering it anymore no you're, you're going over the same question again and again and again and i've already answered evasive, it mark. no i i don't because i'm not i'm evasive. i'm just sick of answering okay, the mark, same question over and over mark, no no yeah, i'm not so, answering it so, anymore okay, Darth. i'm not question. i'm Only not answering yes it anymore no. i'm it not is, answering it ultimate so it how is can ultimate, something solely, be one okay, and so three at the same time no i'm asking you a question I'm asking you a question. Mark, How can question something be mine. one and three at the same time? Is is something that is one three? Yeah, a cube a cube is one thing and it has three a threefold distinctions. So it's it's three things. A one cube is three things is what you're saying. No, it is something 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 can uh, be unified and also possess within its unity diversity yes i agree but how can okay, one cube have three now, things mark, how, how can is one cube is a cube now, one thing explain to me now mark is a cube one me. thing i'm gonna drop i'm gonna drop everything that's gone is uh, a cube one thing mark, how do you know is mark, a cube one thing is a cube one thing aren't you are, aren't you getting a cue here i'm not paying attention to anything of your, of is your a I'm not paying cube to one thing i'm at, no i'm ignoring no? your so a cube isn't one thing a cube yeah, isn't one thing is me, a cube three things mark mark i'm ignoring you right now because you're ignoring me well, I, I'm sick of you asking the same question over and over, so I'm not going to answer it anymore. You refuse to answer the question. Now, no, no, no. I'll you refuse to accept the now, answer. Mark, we're going back to the initial question of your atheism. No, I don't okay, think we now, are. I don't think we are. Mark? No. In order for no. you to fall No, God, you don't you get to, to tell move. me that hey, my Mark, answer you're just you, not you know, going you know, to Captain accept. America you're you're not. You're not. I can do this all day, too. I'm very combustible. Yeah, very I mean, it's only people, like. Like yourself that have the gift of gab and filibustering. Yeah, it's only I like one o'clock here. I can, I can stay up a lot later than yeah, you. Yeah, Mark, I can do this all day, too. Uh -huh. okay? I'm a big boy, okay? I'm 61 years old. I'm well acquainted with people who well, employ the kind of strategy that you're employing. Well, you don't act like here. it, unfortunately. That's that's the problem. Okay, no, you, no, you, um, I, no, I answer the question. Like I'm aggressive. I'm aggressive when people are are entirely evasive, such as you. Now, I want. I Actually, don't want to you're kind no. of manipulative Mark, and just now, sort of. Can you tell I've me? I've given you the can answer. You tell me. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Listen to me. I, I guess I keep on communicating over and over again. I'm a dog with them. Okay. Now, yeah, I don't care. I, I don't care. I, what I do don't care. Story. What What about are you being a dog with a bone? I don't care yeah. about. Like just because okay. you no want care. a bone, like let's look at I this. Hang on, no, 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 no. Let's look at this. You're a dog that wants a bone, a certain answer to a question, and you will not accept a dog treat or or any other answer than the answer that you want. And so, if you're not going to accept my answer, then why should I provide you an answer at all? If you won't accept it. 
well okay. i mean i, I don't really know. care I, I i don't really care i, I mean you're, you're, I've given the answer again and again and again, and you've basically oh, gone back dodging. to the same question again oh, and again. And I'm sick of giving the answer. Dodging. I'm not okay, dodging Mark, anything. I've been in here me, for ages can answering you. Tell me you. very simply, okay? I ask truncated questions, but you want to give me a community college? Uh, they're they're quite complex which, questions, they actually. Mark, they're quite complex. So, now, by what means do you mm -hmm. establish that which is ultimate? By what means do I establish what is ultimate? Yeah. What I is, think. What is, how do you demonstrate? Yeah. So I, I think the only thing that you can rationally justify, and I gave the justification before. I'm not sure if you did hear it or not. I can go over it again. Was that an Why, absolute? I don't need a community college lecture. Yeah, I, I was just about to get there. Uh, that an absolute reality must exist. It must. Well, well, sir, we're we're not talking about absolute. You can reality. call me Mark. You don't have to call we're me sir. Call me Mark. Mark. See, this is your problem. What you you, you have a touch of autism, okay? You're in. Oh this no, I, I don't have a touch. I don't have a touch. I I'm I'm you know, you pretty like on the spectrum. I'm Why don't you listen for a moment? Well, I am listening. I just I am getting you know, from you, you that I'm not getting straightforward answers. I'm getting community college soliloquies I'm how is that community college soliloquies now listen to me carefully okay what is ultimate by what means okay yes. is it through pure reason yes is it through induction or deduction pure reason okay okay there and deduction yeah now we got a straightforward here now here's the problem okay? yeah your mind which is pure, your mind, which is operating through reason, uh -huh. your mind and your mind alone mm -hmm. can demonstrate that which is ultimate? Well, I can demonstrate it to you too. Okay. Can you tell me? Do you want me to demonstrate to, it to you? Listen, listen carefully. Mark, I've had this debate hundreds of times. Now, by Not pure reason alone, listen to me. By pure reason alone, mm -hmm. can you tell me why, at the most fundamental level, why the moon exists? Uh, by pure reason alone? No. Why would I use pure You're reason? You're contradicting yourself. No, I haven't. What are you talking about? Yes, you have. Would you like me to explain? Not really. I mean, I can take you through the um, you thing again. Me, you yeah. told me that by pure reason mm -hmm. through your cognitive processes yes you can demonstrate what is ultimate and what is ultimate you is not read the moon. earlier what is the ultimate, moon isn't ultimate carefully Mark, the, Mark, the moon Mark, isn't ultimate you know what? i'm really getting i'm really getting increasingly attitude mm, sounds like a you problem you're just dodging okay sounds I know like you a have you the problem gift of gab mark, mark i, I do don't i just let me, make, let me make this clear to you mark I don't know okay, what that's gonna, supposed to mean. Fill you in on something what? that's obvious here. What? Mark, I want to fill you in on something that's obvious. So you about said me. that that no, just let me Mark, answer. You said Mark, that no, I Mark, cannot demonstrate gonna, the moon by pure reason, but the moon I, I is like not what is ultimate. Mark, you understand that when you when you give me these meandering soliloquies, I completely tune you out. It when was you like aren't two sentences. Things. It was so two question, sentences. Are you saying you can't follow two sentences? No, Mark, Mark, listen. Again, I'm a dog with a bone. I'm I don't not care. I filibustering. I don't care no, what Mark. you want out of me. I but will give doing. the answers that I choose to answer with, yeah, not and, what you and, want. And that's fine. You better you accept that. that. Then I'm going to choose to respond to you and point out to you that you're filibustering. Well, I'm not. Okay. You, you said that I well, cannot demonstrate the moon through pure reason, and I agreed. And then you said, "Well, and and but but the moon isn't what is ultimate." And I never said that the moon is ultimate. I said I could demonstrate what is ultimate through pure reason, not the moon. Hold on a second. You never said at all during the entire interaction that you had with me. You never identified what was ultimate. I did. I did. Okay, what is it? What is it that is ultimate? Absolute reality. 
I've said this okay, again and again and again. I, 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 you lack a broken now, record. It's crazy. Reality. Now, now here's the here's the problem. Yeah. You don't need to add the qualifier of absolute. All you have to do is say reality. Okay. Uh, I do. It's an unnecessary qualifier. No, I, I, I do. Okay, so absolute. Do you uh -huh. when you say absolute, do you mean unconditionally non-dependent and self-contained? Yes. Okay. So I will take that as a given. So we can simplify this by you saying what is ultimate is reality. Is that your position? Well, I mean, I make a distinction between my apparent reality that I interact with and well, Mark, an ultimate Mark, reality. Mark, this is your so, problem, Mark. This yeah. is your problem. Well, I we're going to have to accept that because that's my answer. And you want to go into these uh -huh. mini little monologues. Now, is reality that you have invoked, is that what is ultimate? Yes. Okay. Now... Can you please, so is, is reality everything? Yes. Okay. How did you determine that everything is ultimate? How did I determine that everything is ultimate? Um, because it rely, uh, it is the base level that I can I know must exist through to the pure reason that, that I got to tell me how it. you determined it. How did you determine that everything? Now, does everything include two or more concrete particulars? Okay, so I don't make any claims on what everything is or the limits of everything. Okay. I, I make no claims on that whatsoever. I just See, know that it exists. You, I asked you a straightforward question and you're answering a semi-related question. This is what you have been doing the whole time. And that's why you're, you're, you're finding out that I'm aggressive. I get aggressive when people start meandering and answering semi-related questions that didn't ask. Now, is reality two or more concrete things? Has there ever been a discussion that you've had that you haven't gotten aggressive because people haven't given you the yes, answers? That many they, times. That you want because i'm dealing when i don't get i don't get aggressive yeah when people are not purposely monologuing and filibustering so it seems I get like agitated when people are monologuing and filibustering well it seems like to me you here. get angry when you don't get the answers that you want no so you I'm not want getting certain angry answers out of me and you're, you're not going want. to get, get them. agitated when someone like yourself thinks you're pulling the wool over my eyes nobody is pulling the wool over your lecture. eyes now, nobody Mark, is see, you, this you, is typically you... what you atheists do you bicker 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 well that's now, just an ad hominem you know, how can you how were you able to demonstrate that which is ultimate how, how did you how did you demonstrate that how did you demonstrate what is ultimate okay i'm awaiting your answer no 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 i'm asking you how did you demonstrate what's ultimate Mark? Mark, no, well, I'll answer after you do. Mark, I'll answer after you do. We've come full circle. I will Mark, answer after you do, sir. I will answer after sir, you do. Sir, I will be more than happy. I don't think more you will. than happy to have you pepper me with questions about my worldview, <laughs> which never I happens. Yeah. To, to you about your atheism. That's what this conversation is about right now. And when you start talking to me about my, about my worldview, this is a bait and switch. Now, how did you demonstrate this? What is this this conversation what wasn't about atheism. I was talking to the lovely people, praise and oh, and Bill, asked, and no 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. I was talking to them about Christianity. How you you knew that you were a Christian and their interpretation of of scripture upon me then you came into the room and decided you wanted to make it about something else now don't sort of pretend this isn't what happened and what happens every single time you step into a room i mean come on let's be real here okay mark did you agree to um why did you not initially refuse to answer questions about your atheism but now you are I'm not refusing. I, I just don't want to repeat the same answers over and over and over ad nauseum because you're just looking for the answers that you want. Like you said, you're a dog after a bone and a bone, the answer you want is the only answer that you will accept. I keep explaining to you what my basis is and you keep saying, 
no, that I, I need a different answer. I'm a dog with a bone. Yeah, I, I really do believe you are. You're after one thing and one thing alone. And it kind of shows, mate. You really need to have a think about whether you want to accept answers from people. Why do you even ask if you're only after one answer? Why don't you just assume they're going to answer that way? Um, it, it's kind of weird. It's very weird. Well, there, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just get my um, my uh, camera back up. So that was my oh, that was my um, first interaction with Darth. Um, I hope I did okay. I kind of, you know, I might not have. I, I'm a dabbler in philosophy. I'm not a full-on, you know, person. But interesting that I got kicked. You know, like, interesting that I got kicked. Um, I, I really don't think he likes... Um, um, I, he doesn't like answering questions. He just wants to grill people. Um, it, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> but uh, that was good. I, I, I thought I did really well. I, I don't know. I've got the gift of the gab. I'm just, you know, I'm just... Uh, Sorry, my bad. I, I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll listen a bit. ADD teenager then with that guy. What, what, a, what a train wreck that guy was. I didn't hear what you said. I was going to say, what are you hoping to accomplish with him? I'm sure you've seen him before, right? No, I've never seen him before. Oh, okay. Well, I guess then that was a, a new for you, new conversation with Mark, yeah? I mean, Mark's a, a pretty yeah, subtle, well, what, predictable what, atheist. Well, what you see, what, what I saw there with Mark was the typical atheist strategy of filibustering, dodging, while pretending to answer the question, and then just rambling and, and meandering. And then when you point out that they're meandering and not really answering the question, then they say, oh, yes, I did answer the question, you just don't like it. I mean, he, his, his, he made numerous statements where he contradicted himself. So on the one hand, he wants to tell me that the ultimate is, is a concrete one, but it also subsists of a concrete many. We all heard him say that. Does everybody remember when he said that? Can I get some feedback here? Yes. Okay. We all heard him say that what is ultimate is a concrete one, but it also is a concrete many, right? But then shortly thereafter, he says, nobody has solved the one and the many problem. But when you say that ultimate reality is a concrete one, but it also uh, possesses diversity and distinctions, okay? That they, they composed of concrete uh, uh, many, okay? Then you have solved the one and the many problem. The guy is a walking contradiction. And what he does is he just keeps on going blah, 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 until you're blue in the face. But you see, I don't put up with that. And then he wants to go, well, you're really aggressive. You're damn right I'm aggressive when you're just sitting there monologuing and you're not having a conversation with me. You, you're talking to me like I'm some ninth or 10th grader and you're a community college professor and you're fooling me with all of this, 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 this filibustering, this, this, this monologue meandering, okay? So he wants to tell me that God doesn't exist because what is ultimate is, is absolute reality. Well, by what means that he determined that? By pure, pure reason. So in other words, he's determined that God doesn't exist by pure reason. So his mind is able to determine that God doesn't exist based upon what? Right. Answer, what is ultimate? What is ultimate? Okay. And then, and then what he says is ultimate. Well, everything is ultimate. Okay. How did you determine that by pure reason? And then he launches off into another meandering community college lecture. How did you determine what, ultimate. It, what is ultimate? Right. Absolute reality. That's just a throwaway term. It's a buzzword. Like that doesn't have any. 
uh, meaning or justification behind it. So he also can demonstrate how absolute reality was necessary. He needs to demonstrate that as well. He didn't do that. Well, no, he, look, this is this is what he and this is why I brought up the issue of autism. And I'm not trying to be mean uh, or throw anybody under the bus. But he, he, he shows this capacity of just ignoring that somebody is upset with them that, look, you're just lecturing me. You're not getting down to the meat yeah, and potatoes so, of so my Duff's question. Angry because You're I, talking um, to me like I'm I a freshman talk in some uh, actually, community college class. I, I got to say that the, the people in, in Praise's chat are actually really nice about it and they apologized. And, you know, um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, uh, this, this is Darth for you. I mean, um, I, I know I've got some pretty unconventional views and I am on the autism spectrum, this is true. I, and, and I'm not going to be ashamed of that and I'm not going to hide away and, and pretend that I'm not. Um, I'm going to be proud of who I am. And I think I did a good job. I, I think I did. And I'll, I'll send it into Tom Rabbit's show and hopefully I'll get a free t-shirt. But um, yeah. Um, do have a good day and um yeah i'll see you next time um you know Darth wants to boot me um but i, I really was interested in talking to uh, sparrow olive and praise about why they think that um god has talked to me i've heard but then the devil has taken that away kind of thing i thought that was fascinating um but anyway have a good day i know i will thanks bye bye